Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we are going to join back to the Aerith server and we are going to do a ton of base raids including a really good profitable raid and an adamantium base which had their stream and team online. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more duo Aerith survival and raiding videos make sure to drop a like let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that goal then I will do much more. Also in case if you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it if you hit that button. Every single one helps the channel more than you think and we're getting very close to 30,000 subscribers which is a huge milestone. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To your prize make sure to join my discord and contact me there also today we're going to roll another mythical and this time it's a palm knight's aura to have a chance to win this mythical make sure that you have liked subscribed and comment something below channel members also have a higher chance to win so if someone wishes to become a member the link will also be in the description below i also would like to shout out each and every one of you for becoming a member also we have now opened a giveaway chat just for members in our discord so if you're a member make sure to join the discord as well this video is sponsored by sincere gaming sincere gaming is a huge answer network as i'm sure most of you have heard of it and even played on it. I have made multiple videos and streams on these servers, including Washington, PI, and Arid videos. They are quite active servers, fun to play as well. They have custom plugins, custom teleportation, where you can whitelist your teammates, player stat rewards, where you can also win store gift cards, a very friendly staff team, offline raid protection, and much more. As for their servers, they have multiple loot trades, including 2 times, 5 times, 10 times, and even 100 times. They have both EU and US regions, and currently they are also opening staff applications. If you guys are interested to buy a rank, make sure to use the code LDG to get 5% off. Also, make sure to join their Discord, which will be at the top of the description below, and let's get straight to the video. Alright, so I've mined myself uh, Adamantium safe and uh, got myself pretty much all of the metal from this raid. Now I'm gonna home. Yeah, we're pretty much moved everything almost as well. We did a huge base raid. If you guys haven't seen it, then it's the previous episode. Probably one of my best air base raids that I've ever done. Our base is literally full. You know, put the Adamantium safe in there. Now next what we're going to do is we're probably just going to continue farm a bit. My team apparently has made already some C4 from that raid, so that's pretty good. But I've been on the server for literally like a couple of hours, so I'm probably gonna head off soon and we we will most likely uh, join tomorrow. Bruh, a helicopter spawned and somebody's about to take it. Yeah, they're gone. Literally, the reason why we built a base here is so that we can actually get ourselves an easy helicopter. But the one that spawns, somebody else takes it. It's okay, though. We'll just wait for another one. Alright, so before I actually head off for the day, my Jojo told me that he knows a little base that we can raid. He said it's nothing special, but he knows the owners and they've always run around with good loot. So perhaps they actually have a profitable base raid. I'm pretty sure it's also made out of wood, so it's not gonna take us that much to actually go through. So we're just gonna walk over there. Currently, it's us three. A lot of our team did leave after that big raid. Server is still pretty much almost full. If you guys don't want to play on the server, I will have the IP and the port in the description below. It's basically an arid survival, two times loot. No pay to win, no ranks, none of that. Alright boys, so this is the base that he said he wants to raid. Uh, I think he's just gonna use thermal better grenades to, to go through. I don't really know if it's a good idea. But we did get ourselves quite a ton from the previous raid. Now we do have C4. We have a ton of C4 to be honest. But I guess we're just gonna use these grenades because they're literally, that's their only use. Oh, alright, and we are finally true. Let's go. Yeah, the base actually does seem quite stacked. There's some crates over here, but I'm gonna put the C4. It's gonna break literally everything. There's also these two big metal crates. So let me take the detonator out of my vault. There we go. Alright. Insane base raid. Yes, sir, everything broke perfect. There is a bunch of loot. A bunch of coppers, a bunch of guns, some steel mesh. And yeah, there's a toolbox up there, a bundle of plastic. All right, well, we're gonna see what we can take. There's a lot of copper coils, man. These guys are, they have so much. There's a Uzi, toolbox, metal crate, broken saw, backpack, metal plate, white fuse. Not too bad, man. I mean, we did only use thermobaric grenades and like one homemade C4. Some bars, some HQ fabric. All right, well, we're gonna take everything. We're gonna home and I'll probably head out for today. Alright boys, we are back. I'm just putting all of the loot that I logged off with. Yeah, I think it seems like my team actually did quite a lot of good job when I went offline. They actually got even more loot. Lovely. Yeah, alright, well, I want to do this Cobalt Crystal Barter. I've been wanting to do this since the start. But basically, this is something new. And we're in the safe zone and with one Cobalt Crystal and 200 zombie kills, which we've already done, we can get ourselves the better night vision, the blue night vision. Need to figure out who actually does it, because I have no clue. Yeah, it's not this dude. It's not this dude either. I think it's you. And yeah, there's also like new uh, barters that we could do to get ourselves saw parts. We got ourselves quite a ton of money. 
Oh yeah, finally, it's you. Alright, we got ourselves the blue night vision. Absolutely lovely. Perhaps I did waste a cobalt crystal. Perhaps I did not. But I've always wanted to do this. And here we go. Alright, so next I'm probably just gonna run around here to get myself some loot. Maybe some insane base raid zone. Yeah, my teammate is on. It's gonna be me and Majojo for now. It's gonna be a duo. Oh, damn. Majojo actually grinded heavily. What the hell is that gun? It's a new gun. I've never seen it in my life. All right, so that is some of the raiding gear Majojo has made after I got offline yesterday. He says he also has a coal boat, which is crazy. So yeah, soon we're probably just gonna go and do some more base raids. Majojo has told me of a live three-man team that we are going to go attempt raid. It is made out of adamantium and metal mostly. It's over here. We're very, very close. And we're gonna go and we're gonna go raid it. Hopefully, we actually don't lose this. But we're probably gonna put the coal boat. And if we do put the coal boat, there is a high chance that all of the adamantium will break instantly and if there are people inside they might die as well so that would be kind of funny if that happens by a word duo against a trio and majojo cannot climb up i hate it when that happens yeah area is not claimed either thankfully yeah so like the middle of it is adamantium yeah they're inside i hear them walking all right he's just gonna put a couple of c4 all right broke let's destroy the bed I'm... Okay, well, they're dead. Right, he has some guns. Yeah, two of them died from the explosion. Wait, the leather broke. Let me TPA. Yeah, two of them died from the explosion, and then the third dude, he died. Let's take what we can. Yeah, it seems pretty stacked. There's a lot of loot on the floor. Yeah, two honeybees. A ton of gunpowder. There's a saw as well. Zolash modos. I'm gonna take all of this gunpowder, man. It's really good. Even more loot. Kobo crystal, lovely. Rucksack, armored vest. They're the same. RPG breach. We still don't have our RPG. Oh my god. Wait, Majojo got C4. Bro, that's crazy. All right, profit. That's crazy profit then. All right, this one has even more gunpowder. These guys were planning for a raid then. Terry computer. Yeah, the good thing about raiding online is that people cannot log off with the good raiding loot, you know? Yeah, they have biohazard clothes over there. All right, perhaps it's time to start depositing. We did get ourselves some pretty good loot. Honeybee. All right, I am back in base. I wonder if we even have any space. Let's start putting these down. All right, well, all of these are full. Are these all full? Bro, look at all of this gunpowder. We can place this metal crate somewhere, perhaps. And yeah, there's some space over here. Let's go. Leave some more space over here. Let's put all of this gunpowder. We can put some more in this crate. All right, so up here, they've also made, like, a little extra room where we can put more storage. It's still empty till now, but we can... We actually have space now to put somewhere. All right, yeah, let's TPA back. And I hear a car literally outside. Yeah, I'm not gonna engage, obviously. You know, passing by, man. Oh, they're walking. And it's multiple people, so it has to be the three-man team. No, I'm not gonna make a sound. Yeah, I think they walked past. Back, never mind. I'm gonna TPA so that we can continue getting gloat. We need to make sure we didn't actually leave anything. There's a bunch of charcoal in that one. Night vision. I'll take that. Empty. These are empty. A bunch of meds. Nothing that good. All right, there was a steel mesh. It's pretty good. Dressing. Subsonic. Even more subsonic. Right, we got ourselves a pretty decent looking gun. I'm really happy with this raid, I'm gonna be honest. We profited, Majojo got a ton of C4 in return, and we didn't use the coal build. We used normal C4. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we are going to pretty much run around the map. We still have a ton of C4 left, and we're gonna try to find something else to raid. We're gonna split up, I'm gonna go in a way, and Majojo's gonna another way, so that we cover more ground. But yeah, hopefully we've got ourselves another insane base raid. Alright boys, so we found this at the very edge of the map behind Kahmaran. I'm actually unsure if it's raided or not because there's this huge ramp going up. Oh, wait, I think it's raided. Yeah, there's a ladder going... Wait, is it? Hold on, it actually may not be raided. Yeah, I don't think it's raided then. Yeah, it's not fully raided. Okay. Or maybe the owners just didn't even finish the base. Yeah, this base is, seems massive though as well. Alright, well, we could hit this raid up. It's made out of mostly brick and wood. Alright, yeah, I don't know where we're gonna raid from though. And yeah, this base is like seven floors, man. Alright. Yeah, maybe we can jump on top of the car and we can raid into, like, the second floor. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, C4 has been placed. Alright, here we go. Yeah, broke. Lovely. Yeah, it's gonna be honeycomb 100%. Or maybe we can raid from the top floor and just we go downwards. We do have more C4. Alright, let me put them in vault, actually. Yeah, I do have the AMR with me, too. We did bring all of the raiding gear. They're all in our vaults. Yeah, let's raid from the top down, as I mentioned earlier. I think that's a better idea. Alright, so the hatch is right over here, so maybe we can raid uh, over here. Let's put one C4 for now. Alright, let's back up. I right, broke, and uh, yeah, we raided into this part. Yeah, all of this is metal now. So I'm gonna assume that this is where the good loot is gonna be, since it's made out of metal. Alright, we're gonna need multiple C4 for this. So let's put one for now. Alright, let's go somewhere safe. 
Insane base trade. Now put another C4. Insane base trade number two. Did it break? No. Alright, well, we need one more then, probably. Alright, hopefully with this one it breaks. Yes, sir. Alright, yeah. There's already a billion crates. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, it's empty. Oh, this one isn't. Alright, there's a bunch of guns by the looks of it. Night vision over there. Alright, let's check out from this side. Bunch of clothes. Empty. Empty. Bunch of magazines. Bunch of ammo. There's loss as well. P90. We'll take that. There's a generator. We'll take that. Dragunov. Gunpowder. Some motor oil. Homemade explosive. There's a detonator. This one has... Seems like a bunch of junk. There's a ladder. Some good clothes. Heavy helmet and rucksack. There's another P90. There's a scope. HQ fabric. Another helmet. There's a honeybee in this one. TX. Zolash. Alright, well, I mean, we're gonna continue going down because hopefully there's better stuff down there. There's two crates down here. Now I'm gonna take myself the AMR out. But yeah, we should go down even more. Yeah, we broke beds. There's a lot of cloth on the floor. Oh yeah, one is obviously not enough. And I have no more C4. Hopefully my Jojo still has. I'm pretty sure he does though. Yeah, he's put one charge. Oh, it broke. Lovely. Oh yeah, there's even more. Yeah, billion more crates. Alright, yeah, honeybee industrial crates. That's actually really, really good. We could put those in our base. This one has even more industrial crates. Alright, some steel mesh. A uh, bunch of gun cases. I'll take that one. This one has GP. This one has a bunch of more guns. A bunch of ammo as well. Steel mesh. That's pretty good. Nothing that good. This one's empty. Alright, my Jojo's dropping those. There's an ASV on this one. Honeybee, bunch of more junk, there's a toolbox. What we're looking for, man, is gunpowder. Gunpowder or explosive compounds, so that we can make even more C4. Well, I'm back in base and I'm going to depot, so that we have ourselves an uh, empty inventory. We're gonna put everything uh, at the top two by two. I keep falling off. All right, there we go. All right, put that right over there. Oh, we only got one, that's okay. Wait, I need the AMR. I put all of these. I wonder what my Jojo got as well. And this is pretty much what I've gotten from this raid till now. Steel mesh as well. Alright, and we TPA back. Alright, we're back. Copper. GP, another one. Bunch of junk by the looks of it. There's a bunch of bars. This one's empty. Empty. Well, let's take the TX as well. We do need PvP guns after all. Alright, my Jojo put a C4. Yeah, we're gonna keep going down. Yeah, it didn't break. We put another one. Hopefully with this one it breaks. Yes, sir, it did. And there's even more. Oh, wow, there's actually a lot down here. Yeah, a bunch of guns. AMR. Gunpowder, lovely. That's beautiful. Bunch of guns. Bunch of rucksacks. Documents bag, a bunch of cobalt crystals. Literally three over here. That's really good. That's really, really good. There's another one over there. This one has a bunch of roll of lead, a bunch of ammo. A bunch of... Dude, they have so much documents bags. We're gonna get ourselves quite a ton of adamantium with that. Take those gas masks. Yeah, we gotta break all of these lockers with AMR. There's a lot of adamantium lockers, man. Hopefully we have enough. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over here that we can salvage. They have tank missiles, bro. They give us quite a ton of good loot. A bunch of GPs. Did, already I have to go back to base and start depoting. Alright, let's reload the AMR. We're gonna be using this gun quite a ton, probably. You should probably start with an adamantium locker. Those probably have the best loot. Wait, no, no, don't, don't. We cannot trade it. It would be a huge waste. See, lockers now can only be broken by weapons. Yeah, this one broke. Nothing that good. These only take three shots to break. As for the lockers, I have literally no idea. Let's break this one. Oh, there's an MKP. That's really good. You can only craft that from now on. There's a lot of metal sheets over there. Yeah, the Mentium locker broken. Okay, C4. And we got ourselves the auto shotgun. That's pretty good. Oh, my Jojo gave me an AMR box. Lovely. All right, so for the Mentium lockers, it takes one full AMR magazine. That's very expensive. We're gonna have to craft ourselves a ton of AMR ammo to get rid of all of these lockers. All right, this one broke. Absolutely nothing good. Yeah, that one was bad. We need to pick ourselves the right locker. I wonder which one, or if any of them have any explosives or like C4 or something like that. Alright, this one has uh, nothing good. Again. Alright, one full magazine. Okay, this one has a billion HMGs. Bunch of GPs. So HMG apparently are for a quest item for like a car. According to some of your comments. Which, which seems quite cool actually. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Alright so we still have the Sabot MG. And I have a magazine for it. But other than that then we would need to craft or go grind. But we should have enough to craft more AMR ammo to be honest. Alright let's take the Sabot. We have ourselves an extra magazine for it as well. 
Alright, well, that box is already out. So now we have ourselves the final box. Alright, broke. Looks like a lot of roll of lead as well. That's it, though. Nothing that good. I'll take the as well. It's a pretty nice weapon. I like it. Get ourselves a full gunpowder. This one broke. Well, there's a fully decked out Zolash. I don't even know what else it dropped. I'll trade this one next. This one broke. It's uh, more adamantium. Nothing that good. And this one broke. Nothing good either. Alright, and I am out. There's a C4 here. Wait, what? Alright, well, we're gonna need to craft ourselves some ammo. Pretty sure we can. Pretty sure we have more than enough. Alright, let me put the C4 in vault. We don't want to lose that. Yeah, we can also salvage all of these. They're gonna give us quite a ton of loot. I don't even have space in my inventory. I think we could break these. Break them with literally our fists. Oh, and there's an adamantium locker down here. It's hidden. So, perhaps it actually has the good loot. Alright, so we're back. We got ourselves one box of AMR. So, that's two adamantium lockers. If there are even more adamantium lockers. I'll take that gun. I'll take the shotgun. I mean, we're gonna break the hidden one for sure. Broke and uh, there's nothing good. I was hoping that actually had good items, but never mind. All right, now we need to pick carefully what we're going to raid next. I think we broke all of the adamantium lockers, actually. Yeah, we did. Well, the normal lockers it is. Oh, this one broke already. Lovely. Bunch of rucksacks. This one broke. A billion helmets. All right. Yeah, we don't have enough to break another one. We need five shots per each locker. I mean, with these, I'm pretty sure if we can salvage them. We got ourselves a lot of armor plates. All right, so yeah, a teammate told me that this shotgun is now explosive. So it, it does a bit of raid damage. Nothing that insane, but a little bit. But yeah, we didn't break it, unfortunately. But Jojo's back in base. He's crafting more AMR ammo. All right, so I'm depoing as well so that all of this loot is secure in our base and nobody can counter us and kill us all of these guns yeah we also got a multi-grenade launcher by the way it has nothing in it still better than nothing yeah all right this one broke and more armored vests so peter i have literally no idea what those are used for this one broke a billion more vests for whatever reason they're gonna be salvaged we're gonna get so much hq fabric and armor plates from it look at this look at the amount of armor plates that we just got from that Alright, let's reload. We require two more shots to finish this. This is a pretty good base raid though, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. We're getting some good items from it. Yeah, this one wasn't it though. <laughs> so I'm bro, bunch of more junk. And we are out. Alright, reloading. Alright, we're gonna raid this. So I'm broke. Honeybee, some guns. So I'm broke. A cobalt crystal, lovely. I think we only needed one more for another. Cobalt C4. So that's pretty good. Zolash Modo. Alright, let's reload this bad boy. There's so much roll of lead as well. We can make like another full biohazard suit just from the ones on the floor. Alright, let's raid this one. It broke. And a bunch of uh, boxes of parts. There's another AS Val. And there's still all these lockers over here. We're almost done though. This one broke. Metal sheets. Sulfur. Documents bag. Homemade explosive. Alright, so there's only a few left. Oh, this one was weak. A lot of logs. Night vision. This one has um, some ammo. Alright, let's reload this bad boy. Yeah, I need to do a depot run once again. Jojo's taking all of the metal. Uh, a rescue saw. That's pretty good. Sticky grenade. Bundle of them. I didn't even know you could bundle them now. Bunch of sulfur, I saw a lot of sulfur fly around. Gunpowder, digital camera, those cameras can be useful. Well, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys do want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!